is News 25 with Deanna O'Donnell. News 25, local news you can count on. News is brought to you by J.K. Nelson Law. Call 727-9900 today for your free consultation. If you need a lawyer, you need Nelson. Welcome, happy Friday. Thanks for joining us here on News 25 on KPBM TV and Ace Country Radio. I'm Deanna O'Donnell. It is Friday, August 6th. Well, in a video posted on YouTube, the Nye County Sheriff's Office has released disturbing new details about the homicide that occurred last weekend at Cathedral Canyon, just south of Perup. On 8-1-2021, at approximately 6-23 in the morning, Nye County Dispatch received a 911 call reporting a body found in Cathedral Canyon. NCSO deputies arrived at 6-45 and confirmed that there was a deceased person in the canyon. NCSO detectives responded and conducted an extensive investigation of the scene and the body. Detectives discovered the body to be that of a young adult male. Utilizing the automated fingerprint identification system, NCSO detectives were able to identify the deceased as Roy Jaggers, age 27 of Las Vegas. NCSO detectives responded with Las Vegas Metro Police Department homicide detectives to Jaggers' last known address and made death notification to his mother. She was able to identify that the last person to see Jaggers alive was one of her neighbors, later identified as Heather Pate, age 27, of Las Vegas. Detectives went to Pate's residence in the 2000 block of Aaron David Drive in Las Vegas. There, a vehicle was seized and a search warrant executed on Pete's residence. Evidence relating to the homicide was obtained. After several hours, Pate was arrested for murder and transported to the Knight County Detention Center. With the information obtained from that scene, NCSO detectives identified Kevin Dent, Pate's boyfriend, as an additional suspect. After an extensive investigation, NCSO detectives located Dent's vehicle at an address in the 7000 block of Twain Hart Street in Las Vegas. A search warrant was obtained for a search of Dent's vehicle and the residence. While awaiting the arrival of NCSO SWAT to execute the warrant, NCSO detectives observed Dent leaving the residence and getting into his vehicle. NCSO detectives arrested Dent without incident. Evidence was seized from the residence. Dent was arrested for murder and was transported to the Nye County Detention Center. With the information obtained, NCSO detectives identified Brad Men, age 37 of Perum, Pate's friend and previous lover, as an additional suspect. NCSO detectives obtained a search warrant and executed it at Men's residence. Evidence was secured from the residence. Men was not home at the time of the execution of the warrant. NCSO staff located men on State Route 160 coming back into Pahrump. A felony traffic stop was conducted and men was taken into custody. Men led NCSO detectives to the murder weapon and additional evidence was obtained. Men was arrested for murder and was transported to the Nye County Detention Center. NCSO detectives discovered the motive for the murder was Pate's belief that Jaggers had hurt her child. As a result, she and her boyfriend Dent lured Jaggers to her residence. When he arrived, they confronted Jaggers and subsequently beat him. Subsequently, they handcuffed Jaggers and transported him to Nye County. Upon arriving in Nye County, they met men who led them to an area in the desert where they tortured Jaggers over multiple hours, utilizing numerous different weapons. After they finished torturing Jaggers, they drove him to Cathedral Canyon, approximately 25 miles away, where they threw him off the cliff wall into the gorge and subsequently shot at him numerous times, ultimately killing him. An autopsy was conducted and the cause of death was determined to be homicide as a result of gunshots. All three suspects were arrested and booked into the Nye County Detention Center and are being held without bail. The suspects have had their first appearance in the Pahrump Justice Court. This case is ongoing. Anyone with additional information is asked to contact NCSO detectives at 775-751-7000. Confidential tips may be submitted through the Nye County Sheriff's Office app in your app store or via email at sheriff at co.ny.nv.us. Well, Governor Steve Sisolak says he understands the frustrations Nevadas are feeling as we see a resurgence of COVID-19 and a return to masks for most of the state. But he says there is a way out of this, the COVID-19 vaccine. I am not here to announce capacity limits or closures or anything like that. In fact, everything we're currently doing is aimed at preventing just those scenarios. Every vaccine event, every mask we wear, every effort state and local officials and partners are making is to protect not only your health, 
but Nevada's economy, our businesses, your jobs, and our quality of life. Trust me, the last thing I wanted to do was to require Nevadans to put their masks back on, especially those who did the right thing and rolled up their sleeves to get their shots. But at this moment in time, with the Delta variant raging through our state, we need our mask as a bridge to mitigate the spread and buy more time as Nevadans get fully vaccinated against COVID-19. And let me be clear, vaccines are the way out of this pandemic. They are the way out of the pandemic. When we rolled back our mask mandate in May, Delta was less than 1%, less than 1% of the cases. Today, Delta is greater than 90% of the cases in Nevada. And according to the CDC, vaccinated people exposed to Delta may be as contagious as the unvaccinated, but have much less severe symptoms. I understand that this is frustrating, but the unfortunate reality is that whether we like it or not, this virus mutates and we must evolve along with it to protect not only your health and safety, but our economy and our jobs. Unlike previous waves of this virus, we have a real solution this time, the COVID-19 vaccines. That's our solution. The vaccines are incredibly effective at preventing severe illness, hospitalizations, and death from COVID-19. In Nevada, almost every COVID-19 death that we have seen since January of 2021 has been in the case of an individual who is not fully vaccinated. Again, almost every death we have seen since January of 2021 is in individuals who have not been fully vaccinated. While reports of breakthrough cases may seem increasingly frequent, the vast majority do not end up having a severe disease. And as promised to many of our viewers and listeners, we were contacted several times about uh, attendees of Prompt Valley High School's spaghetti dinner auction that occurred last week. And the um, uh, reports that there was some people that did contract COVID from that event in which the majority of the people were not wearing masks or social distancing. I did speak to Fire Chief Scott Lewis today who said he has heard the same thing, although he is not um, specifically trace contacting uh, the participants or people who attended that event. If you were at that event last week, he does urge you to go and get tested for COVID-19. Well, Governor Steve Sisolak released a statement today after Nevada surpassed its 6,000 death due to COVID-19. The governor says this is another significant and heartbreaking milestone for our state since this pandemic began. He says his heart aches alongside all of the Nevada families who are mourning the loss of a loved one. He adds that he wants to encourage all Nevada who have not yet done so to please consider getting the COVID-19 vaccine as soon as possible. The vaccines are free, safe, and incredibly effective at preventing severe illness, hospitalization, and death. Nevadans can learn more about the vaccine by going and finding a convenient nearby clinic or visiting nevadacovidfighter.org. News 25 will return right after this break. You're watching News 25, the most recognized and farthest reaching local news in Nye County. News 25, local news you can count on. Welcome back. The Nye County Sheriff's Office is investigating a two vehicle crash that shut down Bell Vista Avenue for a short time Friday morning. Nye County Sheriff's Office deputies and Pahrump Valley Fire and Rescue were dispatched to a two-vehicle accident this morning at Bell Vista and Blagg Roads. According to Pahrump Valley Fire and Rescue, all occupants declined to be transported upon arrival. Nye County Sheriff's Office deputies and auxiliary units diverted traffic around the scene during the cleanup and the investigation. And the National Weather Service has issued a special weather statement warning of increased smoke and haze through the weekend. This affects the nor northernmost portions of Nye County. 
Smoke from large wildfires over Northern California and Southwest Oregon is overrunning Northern and Central Nevada and is expected to last through the weekend. That smoke could be dense, leading to limited visibility and degraded air quality. As such, the Nye County Department of Emergency Management is encouraging vulnerable populations to remain indoors and refrain from travel unless necessary. To protect yourself from the smoky conditions, the National Weather Service has issued some smoke and air quality safety tips. First, reduce or stop outdoor activity and stay inside. Keep your air conditioner on. If available, the fresh air intake closed, filter clean, and windows closed. Pay attention to air quality on airnow.gov. Follow the advice of your doctor, especially those with heart or lung disease. And finally, wet or dry clothes, dust, or surgical masks do not protect you from ozone or fine particulates. Thanks to Brad Francis for that report. Well, tomorrow the Prump community will come together to recognize all Purple Heart recipients. Dr. Tom Water says the event is the perfect way to honor the men and women who have been wounded or killed while serving in the U.S. military. Purple Heart Day is August 7th every year. Yeah. Uh, it's something established by George Washington in 1782, and we've continued it. Purple Heart Day is a time to, rep uh, to recognize all Purple Heart recipients. And we have many Purple Heart recipients here in Pahrump and Nye County, and we'd like to recognize them, and we do that every year. We are very honored to have uh, Nye County as a Purple Heart entity and the town of Pahrump also a Purple Heart entity. And you yourself are a Purple Heart recipient and also yes, yeah. your brother. I have my brother's Purple Heart, and that's one of the things that we do at the Purple Heart ceremony is recognize the Gold Star family members, and we want to do that every year. And we want to make sure we also recognize the uh, Purple Heart recipients. We're going to have uh, the Sheriff's Office is participating. The Marine Corps League is participating. We have two guest speakers. I won't say who they are right now. Come on out and listen to them. Huh? And uh, again, it's for Purple Heart recipients. And we're just trying to say thank you for all you've done for our country. Everyone is invited. It's open to the public. And we'd like to have as many people out there as possible. It's going to be 6.30 to 7.30 on the 7th. It's going to be at the Veterans Memorial at Chief Tacopa Cemetery. And we're encouraging everyone to come out and show, show their support for Purple Heart recipients. And thank you to all military personnel for their service. News 25 will return with more local news right after this. You're watching News 25, brought to you by Mountain West Lawyer, Injury Attorneys, 727-9500. News 25, local news you can count on. Well, a local business owner just wanted to bright the day for some Pahrump seniors, so he set out to make some special deliveries of sunflowers. Brad Francis explains. Alex DeJong is the owner and proprietor of Nature Health Farms. In addition to being a working farm complete with petting zoo and museum, Nature Health Farms is now growing flowers too, sunflowers to be exact. We've got a good field, beautiful field going. In fact, the crop of sunflowers is so good they have more flowers than they know what to do with. So Thursday, DeJong delivered some of those flowers to local senior facilities, including Pahrump Health and Rehab, Inspiration Senior Living, and Honey Bee Home Assisted Living Facility. Nature Health Farms also has a special deal right now for anyone wanting to pick some sunflowers. Uh, just one dollar, come visit any sunflower any size in the field. Yeah, and then people have been stopping by? Yes. The sunflower field is a great place to take some photos too and DeJong says photographers are welcome. In addition to the sunflowers, Nature Health Farms also grows other crops including hemp. Yeah, we extract and make CBD products. And how's that going? Great. Yeah. It's helping a lot of people. And the petting zoo allows families to get up close and personal with a variety of farm animals. Um, we have alpaca, pigs, goats, they just all roam around, chickens, mm -hmm. ducks, and you can pet them all. Right now, Nature Health Farms is open to the public on Sundays, but you can call to make arrangements to visit other days. We're open every Sunday from 8 to 5. So come on down? Yes. Where are you guys at? 351 Benark Road, Pahrump, Nevada, 89060. And if people want to get sunflowers right now, can they do that? Yep, just call to make a reservation. How do they call to make a reservation? 775-764-9880. Thanks so much. Thanks, Alex, for letting me tag along. Well, the Delta variant is continuing to spread across the country and now accounts for more than 93% of all new COVID cases. That's according to the CDC. So what can be done to stop this highly contagious variant? It's a respiratory virus like flu or the common cold or 
you know, the original variant of SARS-CoV-2. So it's spread through our respiratory secretions, person to person. So the same measures that we've taken before to prevent uh, respiratory illness will work here. Dr. Daniel Rhodes is a microbiologist for Cleveland Clinic. He says it's hard to say where the Delta variant will go from here, which is why we need to do what we can to minimize the spread. He strongly recommends getting vaccinated if you haven't already. That way you and others around you are protected. And in the event you did contract COVID, your symptoms are likely to be much more mild if you have any at all. The vaccine can also aid in preventing future mutations from developing. Dr. Rhodes says there are already new variants emerging in other countries. Lambdas in South America, people are concerned about that one. Um, you know, there's, there's a whole list of emerging variants that are of interest or concern or on the watch list. If you go to WHO's website, they have a whole list of them. So there's lots of variants around, um, but over time, biology... Uh, proves the winner and, and we see which one emerges as the predominant variant. The CDC says the Delta variant is more prevalent in areas where vaccination rates are low. So if you're planning to travel, be sure to research your destination ahead of time. Thanks to Brad Francis for that. Well, I know this dog is super gorgeous and I'm going to let you find out more about him. He is a four-legged friend looking for a forever home. Darby's going to introduce us to him as well. And he is a healer mix named Buddy. Hi, I'm Darby here at Desert Haven Animal Society. And today this enthusiastic puppy is Buddy. Buddy is a healer mix, um, beautiful coloring. You rarely see healers like this where he's mainly in all white um, and he has some black on his ears and his face and little dots down his back. So pretty and a full long tail. Um, Buddy is obsessed with balls. He wants to play with them real bad. Um, he listens very, very well. So the thing is about healers and especially about Buddy is that healers require a lot of exercise. So that's either playing with them a lot throughout the day or taking them on walks at least two times a day, once in the morning, once at night, so that they can get their energy out. Um, dogs with a lot of energy, they tend to go and stop listening to verbal commands and stop respecting the leadership of their owners because they have so much energy and they just, they can't handle it. So a dog like this definitely requires a lot of physical exercise and also probably a lot of mental stimulation. So Buddy is a great little boy. He is a two year old healer mix. Um, he has been here quite a few times because he has been known to scale fences. So Buddy needs to be in a very secure yard and in a home with lots and lots and lots of energetic owners or children. He actually came from a family with children and he loves children. Um, he prefers to be the only dog in the house though. So if you have a big yard, or at least some kids that wanna go and walk their doggy on a daily basis, I think Buddy would be a wonderful fit for you. If you wanna come and see Buddy or any of his friends here at Desert Haven Animal Society, you can give them a call ahead of time, 775-751-7020, or you can look them up on their Facebook page at Desert Haven Animal Society. Okay, he's been waiting for this ball this whole time because he's been real patient. Are you ready? Go get it. Go, Buddy, go! I love him. He is so sweet. He deserves a good home. We're going to take a look outside right now on our weather cam and see what is happening outside. And oh my gosh, there's some wild horses right outside. That's fantastic. Well, John's going to be back right after this break to tell us about the weather. News 25 Weather Cam is brought to you by Learner and Row Injury Attorney's Office in Pahrump. In a wreck, need a check? Call 702-877-1500. News 25 Weather is brought to you by Dairy Council of Nevada. The splash of cream in your coffee, the dollop of sour cream on your burrito, the melted toasty cheese on your pizza. Undeniably delicious, undeniably dairy. Enjoy what's real. Hi, good evening, Nevada. It's John Kohler from the KPVM Channel 25 Weather Studios, and what a slice to see you on a Friday. Oh, looking forward to next week, Monday premiere of uh, episodes three and four of the, the big, big show, Small Town News. Looking forward to it. Uh, let's look at the weather, though. We can look forward to that right now. 91 degrees in Fernley, Fallon, and Carson City. Tonopah, you're our cruel spot in the state. Cool and cruel at 60, uh, 86, rather. Goldfield, you're up to 88. Beatty, uh, 100 degrees. Right on the money. 
Amber goes, so we were at uh, 105 for a high today, uh, uh, Las Vegas, just a titch ahead of you at 107. And out in Death Valley, 114 big, mean, hot, burly degrees here in the perdition of Pahrump. Let's take a look. It's 100 degrees right now. Uh, not too bad, actually. It's a, a nice dry heat, don't you know? Only 6% humidity. Uh, sun rose this morning in all its glory and promise at 5.54 a.m. It's going to extinguish itself into the west at 7.43 p.m. Be a beautiful sunset tonight. Um, getting down about 74 degrees. Easterly winds at 7 miles per hour. Just a light whoosh, to carry you on your way. And what will that carry us into coming up this week? A uh, whole lot of sunshine. A whole lot of sunshine. Temperatures about 104, 103 degrees reliably. And then about Wednesday, oh my goodness, clouds moving in. We're going to have some rain, looks like, folks. And uh, maybe a couple days of rain. They can see it coming from way out. And uh, we'll kind of keep a track of those uh, percentages as they uh, develop. But it looks like we're going to have a couple days of rain, rain, rain. Uh, knock the dust down. That'll be wonderful. All right. Have a great weekend. We'll see you on the other side. Back to the desk. Here's Deanna. Thanks so much, John. Well, it is Friday, and I got to say that um, this last Monday we had a little premiere of uh, the show that we did here, Small Town News, at Artesian Sellers. And I want to thank Artesian Sellers for doing that because that was so nice of them to do to host that. Uh, Darby and myself attended that. We felt it was really important to be here in Pahrump for this. And so we are inviting anybody who would like to come back and um, join us again at Artesian Sellers with Darby and myself to uh, watch uh, the show. Show uh, the next two episodes with us. Um, we really appreciate we, um, that uh, all the people that did come out. And we had such a great time there. And so it will be at 6 p.m. again. There's no reservations required for this. And Tim and Pam Burke um, have been so great um, in hosting this. And, of course, Jennifer down there. So come on down on Monday night. See the next two episodes. You can also find it on HBO and HBO Max, of course. And it's only $10 a month, and there's even a free trial going on right now. There's a movie in the park happening this weekend, and we want to let you know that's at Ian Deutsch Memorial Park, right off of uh, Honeysuckle between Prump Valley Boulevard and Dandelion Streets. That's a free movie in the park. Last week they had to cancel it because of those uh, problems that we have with the storms. And um, so it starts at 8.15 right there off of um, Ian Deutsch Memorial Park, right off of Prump Valley Boulevard. Come on down, bring a chair, bring a blanket, and um, you can even bring your own snacks. There's even a snack bar as well. And that's going to wrap up this edition of News 25. I'm Deanna O'Donnell. Have a great weekend. We'll see you back here on Monday. Good night.